I'm Racer Magazine's Marshall Pruitt. Let's take a look inside IMSA's fascinating new hybrid GTP cars. The first episode in our GTP 101 tech video series features Acura's ARX 06. Compared to its rivals, the Acura is the most ambitious and advanced GTP car in the field with Formula One and IndyCar technology infused throughout the machine. Beneath its bodywork, there's nothing conventional to be found. Among GTP models, the ARX 06 is something from outer space. Acura's aggressive new hybrid IMSA Grand Touring prototype design was done in collaboration between the factory Honda Performance Development firm in California and the French race car constructor Oreca. The majority of the ARX 06 is manufactured by Oreca in France and shipped to HPD's base north of Los Angeles. The chassis is made from carbon fiber laid over honeycomb panels, which has been the industry standard for decades. The Acura ARX 06, like its championship winning predecessor, the ARX 05, is easily identified among the BMWs, Cadillacs, and Porsches in the GTP field by the sculpted plate, almost a boomerang profile, positioned atop the nose. Another visual differentiator, the front of the Acura, is found with the airflow channels carved into the sides of the tub and cockpit that direct air into the side pods to cool the engine's radiators. You'll also see the relief behind the front wheels, which allows the high-speed, low-pressure air flowing beneath the splitter and underwing built into the nose to bleed out and reconnect with the air flowing around the sides of the ARX 06. From its flanks, the Acura has another strong identifier that isn't on the other GTP cars, and that's found with the long, triangular brake ducts that extend almost to the front of the engine. They feed air to the rear brakes and also focus the air passing over the side pods to follow along the engine cover and back to the rear wing. You'll also see some venting atop the side pods directly above the radiators that draw hot air out and blend it with the airflow moving its way over the car. Before we move to the back of the car, let's take a peek inside the ARX 06. The new GTP cars, which are packed with more electronics than ever, and house the large hybrid battery on the passenger side, short on space. On the driver's side, you can see how Meyershank Racing's Colin Brown is crammed into the car, and that's a normal sight among its rivals as well. The Acura has a Cosworth electronic steering wheel and dash, and a panel to the right with all manner of functions for the driver to manipulate. Hanging from the roof, Brown has a rear view mirror that looks like it's taken from an Acura road car, but it's actually a rectangular video monitor fed by a rearward facing camera. Switching to the other side of the car, we see Tom Blomquist installed and again, the cockpit envelops the driver with safety items like the head surround and all the electronic boxes that run the car. Take a look at Tom's elbow here where it rests against the big housing for the battery. There's not much room to stretch. Let's do a brief tour of the heart of the Acura with the 2.4 liter twin turbo V6 engine that provides most of the combined 680 horsepower between the internal combustion engine and the lithium ion based battery and motor generator unit. I'll do a separate and detailed video on each of the GTP engines, including the Acuras. Shifting to the rear bodywork of the ARX 06, and just like the relief behind the front tires, Acura has incorporated small notches behind the rears for the same venting purpose as the fronts. The rear wing elements are affixed with the standard swan neck arrangement introduced by Acura back in 2009 with its ARX 02A LMP1 prototype, which holds the main wing element from the top rather than the bottom to create more surface area to create low pressure underneath the wing. Like every modern prototype, the swan neck attaches to the rear bodywork subframe and the big spine, the fin, on top of the engine cover. From there, we see the ARX 06's exhaust outlets that fire through the engine cover and the heat-resistant material placed on the trailing section of the bodywork to deal with a hot VPR80 renewable biofuel being burned and expelled. Acura uses tall gurney flaps at the trailing edge of the engine cover, but they're separated into three sections with gaps created to give the exhaust gases an uninterrupted path to leave the ARX 06. Standard cheese wedges, as they're called, rest at the base, the rear tires, and feature embossed Acura logos in the carbon fiber. Between them, we see the shallow diffuser and the installation of four total strakes, two on each side, which help to concentrate the air as it accelerates from beneath the back of the car. 
The rear substructure has large openings behind the tires to relieve drag inducing high pressure air and Acura has added some curved profiles to make downforce as well. And the red lights are a nice stylistic touch. As I mentioned in the opening, the Air X06 is filled with cutting edge technology from its front and rear suspension layouts to bringing its future IndyCar engine forward and using it first in its GTP car. And I'll show you both areas in separate videos. Thanks for watching and visit racer.com for more videos and stories about IMSA's exciting new hybrid GTP cars.